the dose is lower than at the entrance of the beam. Well, hey, everybody, we're here today at the so, Jacobson Building, the home of the Proton Beam Therapy Program. And today we're going to get a little tour of the facility and learn what proton therapy is all yep. about. Well, we're really busy here in the Jacobson building making the final preparations for the grand opening. We're excited to get in and start seeing patients. We hope to draw patients from all over the upper Midwest and all over the United States and the world. We'll be offering a form of proton beam therapy that's not available anywhere else. This is one more tool that we have to add to our armamentarium for successful uh, cancer treatment. The building is beautiful. Uh, the artwork, uh, the equipment, uh, everything is, is excellent, the finest possible. So we're here going to talk about the art in the Jacobson building. We were looking for something that would be welcoming and joyful. One of the treasures I get to enjoy is working with artists and they recognize so much that patients are going to be enjoying this for many years to come and they just want to put their whole heart into something when they're producing it. It's hard to imagine this atrium space without this extraordinary piece. This particular piece called Light on the Lake just really gives the space so much joy. Certain times of the day you stand down in the atrium and you see reflections off of the stone that give it a whole other dimension. Imagine again sitting on a very calm lake and just the shimmering light that you can see um, on the surface. I think Mayo is always very unique how we incorporate our art into our architecture and interior design. Every single piece in the collection has been sponsored by a benefactor and all have just been blown away with again the variety and the images and all the beauty that is providing the space. So the patient will check in at the desk and then they'll be given a pager when the machine is ready for them and when it's their turn the pager will go off and then they'll proceed to the dressing rooms. The patient will pass by these different images here and proceed to the dressing room and then they'll proceed to the um, gowned waiting area where the therapist will pick them up. We have two CT scanners that uh, will position exactly how the patient will be for treatment. We do tattoo our patients with a little drop of ink and a needle stick um, because we don't want the patient to lose their marks. Those tattoos get us really, really close, but then we have to do a lot of fine tuning to make sure it's to the millimeter precision. So we're going into gantry room four. This is the red room. We have um, four gantries in our department. We'll get the patient on the table, and then these green lasers that you see, that's what will align to their tattoos. This is the gantry where the beam comes out of. These are x-ray panels that from a 45 degree angle in the floor, we x-ray to make sure the patient is perfectly aligned. The table can move in six directions, vertically, longitudinally, and laterally, but then also a pitch, a roll, and a yaw. The treatments will last about 15 minutes total, but the beam is only on for a very small fraction of that. Once the patient is perfectly lined up, we'll step out here. We can hear them and see them at all times. We can rotate the machinery, move the table if needed. This is a nice animation of our facility that gives you a feel for um, what's going on inside. This is the general treatment room where the, where the patient is treated. They actually only see this very little bit of the room and not this three floor structure. The whole purpose of our gantry is to rotate the proton beam around the patient so we have a choice of many different treatment angles. The proton energy is determined by the synchrotron here, so this is how the proton is accelerated. We treat with energies from about 70 million electron volts to 230 million electron volts. Every time it goes around that ring, it picks up 1,000 electron volts. So in order to get to its full energy level, it has to go around this ring at least 230,000 times and does that all in a couple of seconds. Once it exits the synchrotron at whatever energy we've decided we need, uh, it goes through what is essentially a big switch yard uh, to determine whether the beam goes in gantry room one, gantry room two, whichever room has, has requested the beam. 
the big switch yard we were talking about where the beam is accelerated and then sent to the gantry rooms is on the other side of this wall. And so if this particular gantry room is selected, then there's a bending magnet just on the other side of this wall that sends the beam through this pipe here. And this is, a, this is all in vacuum. Sends the beam through here and then around the gantry structure. So again, the whole purpose of this structure is to send the beam in a big arc so that it then comes in in a direction where it can be turned around the patient. After this patient is done, they've been here for probably six weeks or so. So they will come and they'll ring the bell and they'll ring it loud. Um, we have a lot of visitors come and their family just to celebrate the occasion that a big milestone in their treatment. So these lights represent beehives because this is gonna be a hive of activity. 